driveway I'm getting ready to go out to run some errands it is Sunday I'm not sure if this vlog will go up today though it might go up on Monday so if you're watching this this is past me <laughs> it's me from Sunday we had a really fun day yesterday and I think I talked about it a little bit oh my god it's raining so much here I, just, I have to roll my windows down and just get a better view um, pulling onto my driveway, don't want to get hit. It is time to go grocery shopping and um, some other shopping. I don't know where else I'm going. I was going to go to Target, but it's Sunday and it's rainy. I don't know if Target's going to be crazy or if going to Target is a mistake. I, I think going to Aldi is a mistake. Aldi on Sunday out here is cuckoo. It is absolutely cuckoo. I don't like it. I like going during the week preferably like a weekday morning when kids are in school and whatever, you know, like between like 10 and 11 during the week is when I like to go to the grocery store. I do not like going out into town and grocery store on weekends. I just don't, I feel the sneeze coming on. Um, hello, anyone new here? This is one of my getting more and more rare car vlogs. I'm in my Jeep. I have a purple, yes, purple, purple Jeep. Rubicon. If you go on Instagram, my Jeep has its own Instagram. It's Mad Moxie Jeep. M A D M O X X I Jeep. I can't remember if it's Mad Moxie or Mad Moxies, but either way, if you type in Mad Moxie Jeep, it comes up and you'll see my purple Jeep. I do not nearly post enough on that Instagram. I actually took a really cool, I've taken like a couple of really cool pictures of my Jeep. I just forgot to put them up. I did one where we had this gorgeous sunset and it was reflected in the window. And I think I forgot to put that one up. And then I had one where we had our first little dusting of snow and I took a picture of the front of my Jeep where it says Mad Moxie on it. And I forgot to post that. <laughs> I, I have so many Instagram pages for all my pets and my Jeep and me that it's hard to keep up with all of them. Some people have seven or eight YouTube channels. I have like seven Instagrams. Although I think it might be a little bit easier to upload to seven Instagrams, just throw a picture up on them all the time. I really, I think one of my New Year's resolutions is gonna be to do just that, to use all of those more. Normally I'm in cinematic mode filming this, so the background is blurred and today it isn't. But you can see, oh, you can kind of see like <laughs> where I live. I always joke that it's the middle of nowhere. I'm coming down my hill in a second here. Well, I have been coming downhill. I live, I don't, I'm not kidding you. I really live up a mountain. And you would know if you ever tried to walk the three miles up to where I live. And I've done it. I've done all the way down when I was training, running, I would come down and then go all the way back up. Oh, that way back up. Ooh, it's not fun. It, it could be worse. There are worse places to go straight up, but well, so far I've passed a FedEx guy and a Prime. There's a Prime, Amazon Prime truck coming by now. The delivery people are delivering. They are already so busy. Anyway, I'm almost down my road and I forgot to say, if you're new here, hi, I'm Mir and I'm doing a car vlog today because I don't know. I just felt like it. I miss doing these. I used to do these so much. When my first ch my channel first started, if you go to Hot Mess Vlogging, it's a playlist. I'll put a thing, a card up here somewhere. I had, I had, I have a playlist called Hot Mess Vlogging. A lot of them are me in my car, like the older ones, and just driving around town and showing you like where I live and what my town is like and stuff like that. And talking about my drive into town and going to get chicken feed and blah, blah, blah. I should really do a vlog the next time we go up to Waymart Milling because that is the most beautiful drive. The whole way up there, you only hit 
I think two traffic lights and it's an hour and six minute drive two traffic lights in an hour and six minutes because it's all country back roads it is wait one two three traffic lights sorry three <laughs> a total of three and they're in Wallen Paw Pack which is Lake Wallen Paw Pack is this huge lake that is not far from me it's about mm, 40 minutes ish I think big lake huge really pretty they do a lot of festivals they do boat tours on that lake it's a very big lake and big tourist area out here a state sail today in the rain that kind of sucks for them always sucks when you plan something like a yard sale or an estate sale and then it's pouring rain all day I kind of like this weather it doesn't even feel like winter I don't have a winter coat on or anything or a hat or gloves I have this on uh, what is the temperature right now? Hold on. My car was at, oh, it's 46. So it's not bad here. 46 degrees, not terrible. And I am about to go see how bad the traffic is in town. I was thinking about going to Giant instead of going to Aldi. When I go to Giant, I get gas points, but there's stuff that I like to get at all these, so it sucks. I'm like, should I go to both? I I'm very torn with this whole situation. I don't know how backed up the stop sign is going to be at the bottom of the hill. Mm, we'll go see. Hopefully it's not bad. It is so foggy out too. So we're still uphill. The valley's down there, so I'm still coming down towards... The, the road that goes between kind of like the two there's Shawnee Mountain is not far from me which is a big ski area and they had the lights on last week and I think they were trying to start to make snow because it was in the 20s at night and then it warmed up again and I feel so bad honestly there's stuff you don't think about um, everybody thinks about global warming type of stuff I don't want to get into that whole thing but I don't even say global warming climate change like climate fluctuations, climate change, you know, people think about on a worldwide scale and all that, but I really see it in my community because we've lived here 14 years, over 14 years, and we live, there are four, three or four, three or four, well, there's three big ski areas that are relatively close to me within, I'll say within 40 minutes. Shawnee is really close. It's like 15, 20 minutes for me. But, well, 20 with parking and traffic when people are skiing. But I would say about 15 minutes. And Camelback is not far from here, and that's a big ski area. And the, there's one, I think, called Jack Frost, but that's farther away. And there was another one that I think ended up closing, like around, like not long after we moved here, I think that one closed. And I can't remember the name of it right now. If anyone from the Poconos is watching, they'll probably remind me. But I really notice, and my husband does too, because when we drive down our road in the winter, um, you come down our road and opposite, the mountain opposite of ours, you can see the ski area. So I've shown it in vlogs before and in videos, especially when I go to Wawa in the mornings and it's dark out, all the lights are on at the ski place. So it's pretty cool. And you can... Oh, sucks to be this lady, too. They're, uh, they're moving, and they have a whole bunch of stuff tarped on the back of their truck. Oh, sucks to be them. Oh, bad day to be moving, too. Bad day to do anything you have to do outside, honestly. Uh, anyway, so we can see the, the ski slopes, and it's all lit up. And now I can look at you because I'm at a red light. The people are moving. Oh, it's green. Bye. i got to look at the road now staring at the road staring at the road gotta watch it's wet and wow people are really driving like jerks today too this guy behind me what the heck dude rude rude people rude in the rain we got rude people in the rain i gotta watch today i really gotta watch the road because people are driving like i don't get it uh, um, okay, let me finish one story before I go on. Oh, the Polish deli is closed today. Bummer. I love this Polish deli. They have the best. Uh, there's two Polish delis by me. They both have the best food. 
Um, so we always see the ski slopes. You come down my road and you can see them making snow on the opposite mountain. So we look across in the mountains there and it's so cool looking. And you can see all the slopes and you can see all the lights and you see the snow blowing where they're making snow. So we really, really notice because it's right in our face every time we drive down our road all winter. You can either see that the ski slopes are open or they are not. And it is crazy. We were just talking about this yesterday or the day before my hubby and I were talking about this. How the tourism out here and everything, it used to be when we moved here, again, 14 years ago, which doesn't sound like it's like that's a long time. It doesn't seem like it in a way. It seems like we just moved here yesterday. And lately I've been driving around and really thinking of how much everything's changed since we moved here. And especially I've noticed like the tourism, you know, ebbs and flows, flows because we live in the Poconos. It's a tourist area. That's what pretty much everything out here where the money comes from for our whole community and area is through a lot of tourism. All the little mom and pop businesses, all the little restaurants, the hotels, the gift shops, all the cute gift shops in my town, in my cute little town with all the little lights. And my dad says, it's his favorite kind of town with, it just looks like time kind of stood still. You know, there's like the street lamps and they decorate everything in the tree lighting. And if you saw, I did a short, you can go back and look. And we took Casper to the tree lighting last weekend. And you'll see like, it's crowded, but it's not insane. It's not like thousands of millions of people. It's not like it's Rockefeller Center, okay? It's <laughs> it's a small town. But a lot of the people who live here, what it is, it's either people who run tourist-based businesses and it's all touristy thingies. Like I'm driving by this motel right now. Motel right there, right there. There it is. It's tourist-based businesses or they're people who are commuters like my husband who commute to New York and New Jersey because we are close enough. Now you're going to think, oh my God, everybody out there commutes. There is a huge majority of people who live in this area who are commuters and that's why they live here. The thing is the taxes are much lower here than they are in New Jersey. New Jersey has some of the highest taxes in the country. So you live in the Poconos, you get to have land, you have great, uh, better taxes. Oh, they've been going up. They're trying to catch up with other places around, I think. Now I sound like my parents. Taxes keep going up. Um, I don't know, it's pretty easy going here, but you have like the whole country, rural kind of feel, but then you drive 90 minutes and you're, you're in New York City, which is crazy. Or you even drive like 90, you know, 90 minutes and you can be, in about an hour and 45 minutes, you could be in Philadelphia. So I'm not far from Philadelphia. It's less than a two-hour drive. It's 90 minutes to New York. Back when I lived in Michigan, I would say 90 minutes seemed like an eternity. You would drive 90 minutes in Michigan and you'd be in like... You'd go to like Lansing and think it was like a million miles away. Or drive across Michigan to Grand Rapids from the Detroit area and think it was a million miles away. We would go to Ann Arbor, which was 45 minutes about from where I lived. And I would think like, 45 minutes? Oh my God, I'm going to die. I can't drive 45 minutes to Ann Arbor. It's too far. I'm never going there. Now I'm like, 45 minutes is nothing. We, we routinely, to get anywhere around where I live takes me 20 minutes. To get into town takes 20 to 25 minutes. Because I kind of live, I live outside of town. And... There's little, all kinds of little things. You'll see like this little strip mall place right here. There's a big lots over there. I should just go to this grocery store that's really close. I don't know why I'm doing this. Why am I going all the way to Aldi? Why am I doing this to myself? I don't know. I'm going to go the back way though. I mean, honestly, the traffic right now is not completely crazy. It's, I'm really shocked last night and today I'm shocked at how packed the grocery stores are so it's like didn't we just have Thanksgiving doesn't everyone have leftovers and stuff like I'm frankly shocked at how many people are grocery shopping right now it's very odd it's very weird so I'm all over the place
anyways but yeah the so when something happens like the climate change thing where we're just not getting snow like we used to when we moved here oh my god the snow was crazy like our road to my house they would close it it would it would literally close people would slide off the road and it would be a mess and you could my road was impassable which is why I have a Jeep Rubicon and my husband has a truck. You can't you can't live out here and not have all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive. I always joke that my dream car next to Moxie, I want to have one called Mo Mini Moxie and I want to have a Mini, like a Mini Cooper. I essentially want a Countryman Mini Cooper and I want my Countryman Mini Cooper to be the same purple as my Jeep or as close to it as I could get. I would get a custom color. And I would have Moxie, and I would have, like, either Moxie Jr. or Mini Moxie, like Mini B. <laughs> so Moxie and Moxie Jr. would be parked next to each other. And I thought that would be so cute because in the spring, in the summer, and the fall, I could drive Mini Moxie around and save a lot of gas money. And I could run my errands. It's easier to park in town because it's all... I'm good at parking this Jeep, though. Uh, honestly, I've been driving her for years now. And before that, I drove a Ford F-150, which is huge. So I had two, in a, two uh, big red one and big red two. So before the Jeep, I had two giant Ford F-150s. They were both leases. The second one, we bought the lease out, but then the whole trans, the engine, everything died. And we ended up donating, doing the car donation program mm -hmm. thing with... Um, big red too and then I was carless and sharing a car with my hubby for a while we had Severus who was a Ford Escape or as we called the Ford Escape the Ford Escape that we named Severus it was an all-black escape and we had that car that we leased and we shared which was not fun not fun sharing a car when your husband lived works in New York and New Jersey and you do not but we had thinking back to like moving out of here we did we made crazy sacrifices to move out here and live out here I'm driving along the river now so see it's down there I love this road it's so pretty you can see the river back here there's a big trail there's a trail system called the Broadhead Creek um, this is the Broadhead Creek right here and there's a historical sign in town. This creek actually flooded and, and killed people in the town, flooded the town. It was like a huge thing that happened. And then they ended up building the levee around it. Stroud Township's park system. There's part of, there's a trailhead right there. And there's another parking area and a trailhead right here on the left I'm driving by. This is where I usually come and do my um, hiking, my trail walking, running what have you but this is a five mile loop and it goes across the top of the levee that they built and I always stop and read the historical sign and think about wow that must have been crazy like this whole town our town's old <laughs> old town very old town and flooded and it was crazy and you can still see our realtor when we moved out here when she was taking us around when we were looking at houses she was showing us in Delaware Water Gap, which is not far from here. She was pointing out old houses that were there, and you could see the water lines on the sides of the houses from when the Delaware River flooded. And that's when she told us, you don't want to live down here or anywhere at the bottom of a mountain when you look at houses out here. Always go higher. <laughs> go up. Go up somewhere. Don't go live somewhere where the water's flowing down. You're going to have nothing but flooding problems. So that's why I love where we live, because we are on the top of, I believe it's called Pine Mountain when I looked at a bunch of topographical maps. So we are up there. So nothing is flooding us anyway, which is a good thing. Why, how did I get rambling about all this? This is so weird. None of this is what I was gonna talk about. You know, I just get on a tangent in the car talking about stuff. But, okay, now I'm on one of the little main streets here. This is going into the town of Stroudsburg, and it's still, this is as big as the road gets. It's a little two-lane road with a 40-mile speed limit. <laughs> it's the big road into town, people. It's the giant, busy road into town. It's two lanes. It's 40 miles an hour speed limit. I love little town life. I really do. I love it. I didn't think I would, I mean, moving from Detroit, 
I always thought I was like a city person, a Detroit person. It's like, mm, no. <gasps> that, oh my God, I want to go there. It's raining. I don't want to go over the rain. There's a little nursery right there and it's open and they have like raw honey and local butter and milk and all that stuff. I don't drink milk, but um, it's this little local nursery, but they carry all kinds of local stuff and they have all the wreaths and all the stuff. And we went to yesterday. Oh, okay. So let me finish my thoughts. I'm all over the place. Let me finish one thought. So when people say the climate is not changing, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, dude, I've lived here 14 years. When we first moved here, we would have snow up to my waist. Our road would be impassable. I have pictures of when we moved here where we had like feet of snow, all winter feet and feet of snow, tons of snow. And it was insane how much snow we would get all winter. And all the skiers, I remember just driving, that was back when I was working at PetSmart, and I would be going to work and just the freeway, come every weekend, the freeway would be insane. Both ways, the freeway would be nuts of all the skiers coming in town and it would just be lines and lines, two rows, um, bumper to bumper on Interstate 80, going east and west, like coming west on Friday, all the skiers coming in to go to Camelback and Shawnee and the ski areas. And then on Sunday night, all the skiers going home. And it was just every car had skis on top of their car. It was nutty how many skiers would be out here. Now, on the weekends, it's all through December, there's like nothing like that anymore. And it's not just post-COVID, it was even before that. This, it's like the snow just stopped. It's staying, it's staying too warm here. And in fact, I don't know if you knew this, but I, you knew that I'm a master gardener because I've talked about it. Unless you're new here, hi, I'm also a master gardener for Pennsylvania um, through um, um, Penn State University. I just passed by our office. We have an office back there that's our extension office, the Penn Extension Office. I just drove past it on Phillips Street. That is our extension office for the Master Gardeners of Monroe County, in case you live here and you're looking. It's on, uh, it's back there. Um, where was I going with this? Oh, Master Gardeners. So I just saw a story. Did you know that the USDA hardiness zones, that is the planting zones, like if you're a 5A, a 5B, you know, they have all those little numbers and letters and things of your, oh my God, Aldi is batshit crazy. Aldi's packed. I'm scared. You know, I might run in here and just grab like two or three things in GTFO because this is nuts. Okay, for some reason my camera stopped. I don't know why. Anyway, uh, what was I saying? So yeah, I just noticed that there's just not snow like it used to be. The tourism isn't the same. We still have a lot of tourists, but a lot of people moved out here post COVID because they were just like over it. Uh, being in the city and in New York, especially we got hit so hard. I say we, because my husband had an office in New York that the last day, I'll never forget that the last day he was in his New York office was March 13th of 2020. And it was a Friday the 13th. And by that Monday, like no one was in the office, the office was closed. They closed, he never went in his New York office again after Friday the 13th, March, 2020. And that was when everybody was just, remember everybody's like glued to the TV, watching um, Como, talking about all the people in New York and doing all his pep talks and everything. But yeah, we are so closely connected to New York City because so many commuters live you know, live here and work there. And also people who are originally from New York city and wanted to get the hell out of the city come here. Also, a lot of people own vacation properties here who are New Yorkers who have enough money to own a vacation property in the Poconos. So needless to say, you see tons of New York license plates, lots of Connecticut, lots of New York, um, some Delaware occasionally, lots of New Jersey plates. Anyway, but yeah, it just, it really, uh, my hubby and I were just talking about that, that for these ski places to even stay open, we don't know how they're doing it. I mean, I don't, they do summer festivals, which is good. And they kind of have to, 
Um, Camelback is lucky because they have a mountain coaster, which is really freaking cool. Next year, I'm gonna have to do a video on the mountain coaster. They also have a zip line there that's really fun. I've been on the zip line in the mountain coaster at Camelback. And they also have a giant water park. They have one of those outdoor water park beach things. And it's like a huge uh, family, you know, it's, we have a Great Wolf Lodge out there too, and a Kalahari, but that's all on the west side of town. That's way far from me, which is good. I'm glad I don't live. I always say we have like the, the West Poconos and the East Poconos. I am near Delaware Water Gap in the east side. I am only two exits. Two, I'm the second freeway exit in. Not doxing myself. Good luck finding my house. It's like literally my friends drive by my house and can't find it. Um, but we're the second exit off the interstate from New Jersey. So I can be in New Jersey in about 16 to 20 minutes depending on traffic like cross the line cross the border and be in New Jersey whereas it takes me almost twice that long to get to the west side of the Poconos depending on traffic and we usually don't go to the west side of the Poconos for any reason because that is where all the tourists are that's where Kalahari is Great Wolf Lodge um the other one I said oh Mount Airy Casino is out there the Haunted Monkey Candle Shop now you're going, what the hell is that? You must talk about it. I don't think I ever did a video there. Okay, when Jeremy and Jamie come out, we might have to go to the haunt. If Comment below if you want me to do a video at the Haunted Monkey Candle Shop. Because you're going, what the hell is a Haunted Monkey Candle Shop? It is, it's, it's literally a haunted, well, allegedly a haunted building. You can do tours there. I do get really creepy vibes in that place. But it's really weird. The story of it is really weird. And now it's like a gift shop and everything and they make their own candles and stuff. And it's all like, it's very touristy, um, kind of tourist trappy, but they do have cool stuff there. And there's a weird vibe in that place. And I haven't been there in years. God, I don't think I've been there for like, I haven't been there since before COVID. It's gotta be like five to six years since I've been there. So let me know below if you want me to go to Haunted Monkey Candle Shop because Jeremy will definitely go with me. Jamie might go too. He might be like, I'm not going there. No, Jamie will go. If we go, I should do the tour. I've never, I'm like, I'm not paying money to do the Haunted Monkey Candle Shop tour. But maybe if it's for a video, I have to ask them if they'll let me film it. If they let me film it for YouTube, I'll do it. If they don't let me film it, I'm like, I'm not paying for this. Dude. I'm sorry. I can't. I'm not. Look, I believe in a lot of stuff, but, and I believe in like weird energy and weird vibes, but I just don't feel like I need to pay money to go do the whole tour and the whole thing. You know, I don't know. It's just a little weird. It feels weird. And it honestly, it's also creepy feeling. I saw the tour is like downstairs in the basement where you can't go unless you go on the tour. And that's where all this like ill stuff happened. And I'm not going to tell you the story because I don't want to ruin it, but where a lot of weird stuff happened. And I walked over to that door where the tour starts and I got like a bad vibe from it. I'm like, I don't want to go down there. It's just, I don't like the vibe. It's, it's a creepy vibe. Okay. All the emptied out a little bit. So I'm going to go into Aldi and then I will chat with you more. But long story short, the beginning of this vlog was, yeah, it's 40. It's like, wait, what's okay. Now I'm down my mountain. I said it was 46. When I get into town, it's always warmer. What is it here? Or I could be wrong. 49. Yeah, usually when I come down, because my my house is above the snow line. Sorry, my eyes are really itchy right now. Like gouging my eye out. Um, I'm above the snow line. So it's really funny when you come up my road, it'll be raining and then you cross over it. And right where my ears pop when I come up my road. Oh, there, I just unpopped them. I just realized I'm down in town now. I got to unpop my ears. Okay. Uh, my ears pop going up. I've talked about this in car vlogs. Go watch. But there's a snow line. So you're like driving up my road and it's raining. And then all of a sudden you go up, your ears pop and the rain turns into snow. It's, it's kind of cool. I kind of love it. It's, um, so it'll, when it snowed at my house last week, it, there wasn't snow anywhere else. It was just up at my house because I'm up high enough the elevation is high enough so well let me get all my bags look i got my aldi bags uh, ta-da aldi run thumbnail <laughs> that's a good one 
Oh my God. Okay. I don't want to, I don't want to take too many bags. If I take too many bags, you know what'll happen? I'll buy more stuff. Do you do that? Do you like go, I'm not going to take all these bags. Cause if I take all these bags, I'll just fill them all up. Yeah, I do have, this is my favorite bag. Look, this is an Ikea, like the refrigerator type of bag from Ikea. And then I keep all my little, these are all my, um, these are my bags for my produce. And then I keep all of, I'm not OCD at all. Uh, I keep all of these rolled up like this. And if I was OCD, this elephant wouldn't be upside down, which is making me crazy now. Now I have to fix it. Why did I, I just noticed that. He's upside down. Why is my elephant upside down? He can't be upside down. He's getting dizzy. Okay, there, now my elephant's not upside down. This one has little cats on it. I got these off Amazon and I like them because they just kind of roll up and they have these little things around them. This one's hedgehogs and this one is, oh, this is the sea turtles. I like the sea turtle one. So there's that one and then this, is all my produce bags and there's a penguin and dog one over here but I like and it also has this little zipper thing in the back but if I need to but I don't put anything in this because then I'll forget it's in there and then inside of that I have my big Home Depot bag oh look I love this bag too this is another like refrigeratable one I always take this in this is from the River Ramble Fall Classic the River Ramble was the first 10k I ever did here and I loved it so Oh, there's no coupons in here. Yeah, so I think I'm going to take this one, this one, and these. And then I have way more than enough. I might still have to stop somewhere else. So we'll see. So why don't I... Uh, we've been rambling on forever, but you'll just like run around town with me. And maybe we'll even go to Main Street. I don't know. I might go to Main Street and get a coffee and surprise my hubby and bring something home for him. So maybe we'll do that too. I don't know. Sounds like fun. I wish you were here. And you can tell me, yeah, go do that. Dude, everybody left and there's way closer. There's a parking space like right up by the door. We're moving. We're go. Oh, we're going. We're going. We're going to the other spots that are closer. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's one right by the door. Hold on. Oh, I think that guy's going to take it. That's okay. Anywhere is closer right now. I am like super duper like far away i was parked like really super far away so oh, that is a there we go this one oh my god dude this is so much closer although now i'm not backed in but oh sorry person ah. <laughs> oh my god i didn't i thought they were going to that car and then they kept walking <gasps> i feel rude now i didn't mean to like cut you off person walking stopped at that car and i thought they were going there and then they just kept walking all right, so I need to go in and do this. And um, hopefully, I actually want us to get a bunch of snow. I keep joking, like, bring on the snow. Now I got a Jeep Rubicon and we have no freaking snow. Bring on the snow. When we did get snow last year, it was, a, oh my God, I'm, I'm like talking about the New York people. And there's a guy walking in right now with a New York Giants coat on. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Yep, New York Giants coat. You don't see, I mean, you do see Pennsylvania sports teams around here, but I swear the New York, like the Rangers and the Giants seemed, and I'm not a sports person. I, I know who the teams are, but I'm not into any of that. It's funny. They seem to outnumber the Pennsylvania sports people around here. I wouldn't want to be a Pennsylvania sports person around here, but okay. So I guess I should go in. My husband said I'm dawdling. He's like, you... I dawdled at home trying to get out of my house. I was just like wasting time. He goes, I can tell you don't want to go because you're just sitting here laying on my bed, talking to me, doing nothing and playing with the puppy. And I'm like, no, it's raining. And I hate grocery shopping on the weekends. You guys, I hate it. Look at me. I'm just, I've spent like seven to, I've spent 11 minutes in the parking lot at Aldi going, I don't want to go in. I wanted my hubby to come. What is on my, wait, <gasps> there's schmutz on my, Eh, eh. I'm going to be seen in public with schmutz all over me. Should I put a baseball hat on? It's like pouring rain. I mean, I could. This is my endurance. It looks weird. Does this look weird? I mean, it is like super duper raining. Um, this is my endurance society. One of my ultra runner hats. I always keep it in here. You know what? I am going to wear it because it's raining like 
crazy. So yeah, I'm not looking forward to being out in the rain, carrying groceries in the rain. It's really busy here. I just don't feel like dealing with it. I like grocery shopping during the week. So you're probably going, well, why don't you just do that? Because I have a puppy now. The puppy is doing really great with his crate training. Oh, there's a really cool Jeep going by. See it? The bright, the bright yellow green one. Oh, it's so cool. Um, he's doing good on his crate training, but I don't want to push him too far. For me to go and do come all the way into town. Um, at, last night we did go out to dinner. It's the first time in three weeks. Three weeks since we got the puppy, I think. Has it been three weeks already? Or has it been four weeks? I'll have to look. God, is it four? <gasps> Wait, he got here the first. It's been four, you guys. Oh my God, I thought it was only three. There's a dude standing right across from me and I swear he looks like Jeremy Renner. He has a Jer Oh my God, this guy looks like Jeremy Renner. I mean, not exactly, but... And he's wearing a New York Giants shirt. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. I'm, he's like, that weirdo's laughing at Looking at me and laughing at me. I'm sorry. He looks like Jeremy Renner, but he's wearing a New York Giants shirt. Oh, that's hilarious. I'm like, yeah, New York Giants. Yeah, they outnumber everybody. And there's like two people who already walked by wearing Giants shirts. But it is Sunday, so they're probably like representing. You know what I mean? Um, That lady is wearing a shirt with a skeleton on it. Speaking of the people who ask uh, if people look at me weird the way I dress and go to ladies walking by wearing like a shirt that looks like something I would wear with like a pumpkin and a skeleton dancing on it. We'll talk about that when I get back. Let me go get this over with. God, I'm dreading this. Can you tell? I like grocery shopping during the week, but no, we, uh, oh, I was saying so. We actually crate train the puppy. I've been crate training him for weeks now. He's a month at our house. I've been crate training him. He's doing so well now. We we went out all day yesterday with him. We did stuff all day with him and Luna. We went all over the place. I'll tell you about that later. And we pooped him out as much as we could. And we went into town and we took him to Home Depot. And that was really fun. I'm probably going to do a, a vlog talking about what we did over the weekend. Not this one because this is going to be too long already. But... We took him out all, we took him and um, Luna and Eliza out all yesterday morning, Saturday morning. And then we came home and he took a nap. We did a bunch of stuff. Then in the evening, we went to Home Depot, took him to Home Depot, and he just ran all over the store and had a good time. And it was really fun and everything. So that was really cool. Don't even laugh at me. This lady's leaving, so I'm pulling forwards so I can pull straight through. Hold on. I just want to be able to pull out straight. I hate that. Oh, oh, go ahead. <laughs> she thought she thought I was leaving. It's like, no, I'm not leaving. I'm parking here. Okay, there. Now I pulled straight through. So now I don't, if you sit in a parking lot long enough, you can do all kinds of crazy stuff. Okay. So, oh, this girl's, she, there's a little girl who just walked by wearing a pink New York Giants jersey. It is football day. It's Sunday. Is that why everyone's here? Oh my God, there's, Steelers are playing the Cardinals. I'm not a sports person, but I know that because in one of the towns on the west side of the state where the Steelers are huge is it's Pittsburgh. It's I'm not on the Pittsburgh side, people. Just remember where I live, they always joke there's like the um there's Philadelphia and then a whole bunch of Amish people and then Pittsburgh. <laughs> okay. So Philadelphia is way over here. A bunch of country and nothing in the middle. Not nothing, but you know, Amish people. A whole bunch of craziness woods and then Pittsburgh I am people ask if I'm close to Pittsburgh I'm like seven to eight hours from Pittsburgh okay I'm closer to Maine I am actually almost closer to um I could drive almost up to Quebec faster than I can drive west. I mean, it's really weird. And by the way, I do want to drive up to um, Montreal and go to Quebec. So I'm going to do that probably next year because I really want to go on a road trip to Quebec. I think it'd be fun. Side note. Um, but yeah, we're on the Pittsburgh side. They're doing, for some stupid reason, it came up in my Google News feed, that they're doing from 11 in the morning until 5 today. They have a complete power blackout for this entire town of like 4,000 people. And the Pittsburgh Steelers are playing the Cardinals at one o'clock in the afternoon. So 
the thing that sucks about that, it sucks. I mean, I'm not a sports person, so whatever. But my husband and I were, there's another guy walking by in a Giants jacket. Yeah, you know what? These people are all here shopping for their football snacks. That's what it is. I didn't think about that. That's why all these busy on Sunday, they're getting the football snacks. Everybody coming and going out of here is in like football jersey things. And then there's me in my black craft cult. And uh, I got my Wednesday. I've got my black craft cult um, purse. And I have got my Wednesday no hug zone t-shirt on. And I have got my black craft release the bats uh, jacket and my Endurance Society skeleton hat. Oh, and I'm also wearing the Killstar pants, the stretchy, the kind of the stretchy pants that are the flares with the orange stitching. I love those. They're, they're kind of my running around like, they're like goth yoga pants. They're goga. They're go, goth, goth yoga, goga. Oh my God, I should do a goth yoga class. I my, I am like so ADD right now. My brain's because I'm wasting time because I don't want to go in. Wasting time. Don't want to do it. Don't want to go in. Okay, I'm going. We'll finish talking about all this stuff later. And you're probably like, you didn't finish telling this story and that story. Oh, whatever. It's probably not that important anyway. <laughs> okay, bye. Okay, I'm finally done at Aldi. And I'm trying to get out of here. I think, I think, I think, I don't know why I'm doing this to myself. But I think I'm going to go to Target. Ugh. They had a couple of things that I needed that they don't have at Aldi. That's the thing about Aldi. It's like, it is, sometimes it's a little on the you know specialty side where you need certain things that they don't have for some reason i looked everywhere i could not find crystallized ginger don't ask but i need crystallized ginger so now i'm going to target and also my husband needs contractor garbage bags so he he said it's the one thing he forgot at home depot last night which is funny why do i look so pale weird hold on let me check my camera setting It's just weird lighting. <laughs> I did switch from cinematic to regular video again. See, so you, you can see the background if you care. Is anybody even watching this? It's like, I I mean, I've actually listened to so many people vlog who are just doing stuff around their house or vlogging. And I think it's one of those things like when you either are by yourself a lot or you live by yourself or whatever, you just kind of listen to vlogs for background noise. Oh, Shaza. I got myself a beverage and I left it back in the, in the bags all the way, way back there in the back of the Jeep. Not even in the back seat. I can't get to it. Oh, this sucks. Okay. Well, I don't have my beverage and my throat is like getting dry. So yeah, Aldi was cuckoo. I was in there forever. I was in there for so long. I mean, I must've been in Aldi for like an hour. It's crazy. But I had a I had a short shopping list that was like my short list. And then I had another shopping list that was like this really long shopping list. The really long shopping list was my list of um, ingredients I needed to make a bunch of things that I've been kind of in the mood to make. I've been feeling like this time of year now that it's cooling off and stuff more. It's like I'm in the mood to cook and bake. So... I have this second list that's like, well, if I'm in a cooking and baking mood, I'm going to get these things. You know, so I am starving right now. I, the other problem is I really shouldn't have gone to Aldi when I was starving and I haven't eaten anything because now I just want to like go and get everything. It sucks. Every place I want to stop is on the left and I have to make a left in and a left out to go this way and I'm not doing that. So this is um, Route 611 that I'm on. The mall is here, Stroud Mall is here, and all kinds of stuff, all kinds of red, like drive throughs and things. And there's a Burger King up there, and I am currently heading to the Target area. So first you have like a bunch of stores, there's Aldi, and then a bunch of stores, and then the mall, and then coming up here, Sniffly. It's um where Bed Bath & Beyond used to be, where Spirit Halloween was this year, which I miss Bed Bath & Beyond, but it was cool that it was a ginormous, like one of the biggest Spirit Halloweens I've been in. And that's saying a lot since I'm from Detroit and I went to the ones in Michigan that are in Metro Detroit, but I don't think they were as big back then because Halloween hadn't taken off like it has now. 
now Halloween is like over the top crazy. Like it's getting as big for some people as Christmas where they go all out with all the lights and the decorations and all the things. Okay, so now you can't see it, but up on this side is where PetSmart is where I used to work. There's a Panera, a PetSmart, a Best Buy, Bed Bath & Beyond was there, a Michaels. Oh my God, I can't go with Michaels. I'm burping. Why am I burping? I need a beverage. Uh, Michael's is up there, not going in there. There's a sleep number store. Now what's really weird is this, oh, there's a Five Guys up there too. Uh, I used to always go, because I worked at PetSmart, so I would always go over here because there's a Five Below, and I was so broke back then too, so I used to go to Five Below all the time and get stuff there like snacks and whatever, and I used to go to Michael's. Michael's, when we moved here 14 years ago, was a Borders. Oh my God, I think of in the town, my husband and I both kind of agreed, of all the things that we miss the most, I think we miss the borders the most. So we were sharing a car when we moved here 14 years ago. We only, we moved out here with one car. And I worked at PetSmart and he would get done at work and have to come and pick me up. And he would go to borders and get a coffee and read books while he waited for me. And you know, you could surf the net 14 years ago at borders. I can't believe I'm freaking going to Target. Why am I going? Oh my God, I don't want to go to... I told you I don't like going in these places. This area... Okay, so this is... This next area is Home Depot, um, Target. Right here is the TJ Maxx that I really like. Dollar Tree. Um, the Pet Supplies Plus I always go to. Because I mostly buy everything at Pet Supplies Plus. TJ Maxx, you're not getting me. I'm not going in there today. I'm really trying to not buy stuff that I don't... I don't need any more stuff, honestly. I could, like, live the rest of my life having to hardly buy anything, I think, at this point. Oh, my ears are popped. Why is Target... Compl oh, my God. Target's insane. I'm going in the way far in the back lot. I'm just... I'm not going up there. And there's a BJ's, like, Price Club place here. Oy. I'm going to my... I want to stay away from people parking, which is... I kind of go... I pull in as far away from Target as I can, and I come around the back... And then I go and park way on the side where all the employees park. And then you could park closer to the door. You just walk along the front of it. I would rather walk along like the front like this than go all the way from back here. Oh, this isn't even bad. Oh, there's a spot. Holy crap. There's like close spots over here. Why is, why is no one parked here? Okay, this is really freaking weird, you guys. I can't figure out why nobody's parked over here. I just got the first spot by the door. This is really cuckoo. This what I did you see that? I just went over the curb. You know what? Jeep. <laughs> I do need to like straighten out a little bit. Is that guy behind me? They're just sitting there with their okay. They're sitting there with their backup lights on, but they're not moving. I just need to pull out and I'm gonna move over a little bit so this guy doesn't like hit my door when he gets in his car. Okay, there we go. Oh my god, I am wait, I gotta show you how close I am. Look, here's me. Here's this car. There's the door. So then you look in those first lanes over there. Let me turn this off. Look what a mess it is over there. Everybody's trying to go in those first lanes. And they're driving all the way down. And those lanes are full all the way back. I went one lane, lane over and it's like nothing. Uh-oh. Jeepers, it's the cops. Okay, I got to run into Target and get in and out of here. Because I have a lot of food in my car. Really not understanding. I got the closest spot. Because I went one aisle over. Look, all those are empty right there. It's weird. Okay. Going into Target on a very rainy day. Um, I think I'm going to have to go with him. Um, I would love to see... Casper running through the house with this giant carrot. But I know my husband will kill me if I get it because he's got so many toys already. But look at the giant burger. Oh my god. I can't show you everything in my basket, but I got some uh, holiday things. And right now I'm just looking at oops, um, snacks and things for the puppy. Treats for dogs. Treats for dogs. I did get him some training treats. And shout out to, look, I remember I said I didn't know if I was going to start. I got a free coffee. Let me tell you why. Hold on. 
Okay, so I'm just in the dog food aisle. I'm like vlogging and talking to myself and nobody here seems to care. <laughs> so, oh my God, stop. Oh my God, shut up. It's the operation guy. There's a transformer, there's a My Little Pony. Hungry, hungry hippos, there's My Little Ponies. But the operation guy is awesome. All right, so anyway. I'm getting some food for dude because he's been very picky lately. So, oh, these are meal toppers. I don't know. I've just been trying to get him to eat whatever he'll eat. Turkey recipe, chicken recipe. He's like super duper picky. No, those are toppers. Mm. I don't want him to have like a topper. I want like these. See, like, you know what? I'm going to get him a couple of these and... I'm going to get four of these because they're four for six. So we're just going to try these. At this point, I'm trying to get him to eat anything I can get him to eat. He is eating, but he's just really picky. Okay, let's get him some of these too. One, two. I'm getting him these little thingies. Oh, and I'm not as picky with him with what he's eating because he's going to be 14. And at this point, I just want him to eat something. You know what I mean? Oh, okay, I'm going to get four of these for him. So anyway, I'm in line. And, oh, I bought a... I'll show you that later. I bought a Star Starbucks cup. So I'm looking at the cups, and uh, there's a guy who comes up behind me, and he's like, can I go ahead of you? Or I said, yeah, go ahead. Um, it's fine. I'm looking at cups. I'm not in a hurry. No big deal. So... I finished looking at cups and he's like, are you sure you want to go ahead and you can go? You can. I'm like, no, really. So I start telling him how I'm not in a hurry because I have a new puppy at home and I haven't been able to leave my house in a month. And hubby's home today watching the puppy. Thank you, hubby. So I'm able to go out and shout out to Randy who in front of me, I let him go and I kept insisting he goes ahead of me and he bought my coffee for me. So that was very sweet of him. He just moved here from Philadelphia and I told him, to watch this vlog and I said oh my god dude I was talking about that seriously it's a oh my god we have a giant twix okay did I not get the memo about ridiculous legion look at this snack size look, look at the size of this thing oh my god I want to be an old lady and embrace my old lady side and just have a thing. You know what? I'm getting these. We're going to have a, a bowl of butter mints because I'm just feeling old lady-ish. Should I get these for my hubby? I don't know. He's, we're in a real hot cocoa mood lately. Multiple mints. Oh, look, it's the Jeremy section. It's Jeremy section. Okay, so I was saying... Randy was in line and he just moved here from Philadelphia a year ago. He was saying he can't find good places to eat. And I said, you need to watch my vlog because I go all over the place and eat all over the place and I review places. So shout out Randy and thank you for the chocolate. There's a lot of people here. So I'm going to stop talking because they're going to think I'm crazy. Here's a really good tip in Target. Don't try to vlog when you're in the Christmas section because it's like the busiest section and I'm walking around talking. <laughs> I don't think anyone cares. I told you guys, people here are so cool. So I think uh, Randy was probably like, oh my God, I just moved here and look at somebody so nice to me in line. I'm, I just kept going, no, seriously, go ahead of me, go ahead of me, go ahead of me. Nutella holiday glass, that's cute. Um, but you know, I'm just, I'm not in a hurry. And you guys, I just wanted to go out and like enjoy some time away from the house because now all week again I'm going to be stuck in the house. I don't want to say stuck. Okay, that's a bad word. Stuck is not a good word. What is fly by Jing? Oh, they're spice mixes. Okay, hot sauce sampler. <gasps> anyone can anyone can buy me this. See this right here? This coffee set. Wait, I can't focus on there it is. There's a Death Wish Dark Roast, an organic fair trade peace coffee, and a Lavazza. I love all of those. Okay, anyway, so I'm vlogging in like the busiest part of the store. So I should probably stop talking. But yeah, I told Randy, I go, you know, my I gave him my card and it has my whole 
which we call it all my info on there. So I told him if he's looking for somewhere to eat or go to a bar or something and he doesn't know where to go or if there's a certain kind of food he's looking for, I said, please hit me up because I will tell you where not to go for sure. There's too many places around here, honestly, that are really... I, I just, oh, sorry, I'm going upside, this is going to be upside down, look, I kind of want this, ooh, this, uh, I shouldn't be here when I'm hungry, I haven't eaten, and I want to buy everything, oh my god, look at the, the pretty Starbucks, the gift box, oh, okay, Oops, sorry. <laughs> Got to get this one. Um, so yeah, I just said, you know, kind of uh, hit me up if you're looking for certain places because I've lived here 14 years now and I definitely can tell them all the places to avoid because there's a lot of touristy places that are just so bad. I love when I think I'm recording and I'm not, and I don't know what I recorded last. But again, shout out to Randy. Thank you for this coffee. Uh, I really appreciate it. He kept going, get any size you want. I have a $10 bonus thing on here. And I'm like, Ugh, I don't want to drink. Ooh, let's not run in this. I don't want to drink too much coffee. Let's stay away from that. All right, so I'm going to finish up here. I will see you guys in the car. So I'm done at Target. I still have my coffee. My new cup that matches my Jeep. Look. Oh my God. Uh, and a lot of stuff. Oh my God. I got a lot of stuff, but this was kind of my shopping for the whole month until after Christmas. So now I gotta load up. <laughs> In case you were wondering, she's there, she's there, and there's my Instagram. And there's me, hi, getting wet. Okay, let me unpack all of this. And I think I'm gonna be like eating this in the car. Have you tried this? This is my favorite thing. I get this every year. Oh my God, it's so bad. And I got the butter coffee. Okay, so I need to unpack all this and get in the car because I'm gonna wipe. Okay, so I am almost home and it's getting dark already because where I live, oh my God, I got, where I live, I got popcorn stuck in my heat. Um, I'm just starving. So I have to wave at Jeeps. I've been eating this in the car, which is not a quality meal, by the way, but I am so hungry and I don't want to hit a drive through because I have a whole, I think keeps saying more light required because I have it on cinematic. Too bad. You get what you get. I'm sorry if this doesn't look great. It's getting dark out. It gets dark here on the East Coast at like 4.15, 4.30 in the afternoon, it starts getting dark. So I don't want to hear people in the Midwest complaining that it gets dark at like 6, 6.30, whatever, 5.30. Yeah, it's basically sun sunset at like 4.30 here now. I don't even care that much. I used to get really bothered by it and I used to have really like real problems with like seasonal affective disorder. Um, it is a real issue not saying it's not but there's so much you can do and I read an article that was by a woman who is in um, I don't know if it was Sweden or it might have been Finland might have been Finland but anyway she was where you know it's it just is so dark like for so much of the day and winter and dark and cold and she was saying how I stay happy and positive during these like really long extended winter months because we like to complain about it here. There's places that have it much worse and I know it doesn't invalidate your feelings just because somebody has it worse. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I know, but it could be worse. You could be living where, in, where it's like endless night for a certain amount of <laughs> days a year. Uh, but she had all these tips and I was like, oh my God, these are all things that I actually already do and have been doing, which I thought was really interesting. Like one of them was, she was like, you know, just make your home as cozy as possible. Like make things cozy, make things happy, make it like a place since you're gonna be like kind of stuck inside. You know, you can't really go out and be gardening and working in your yard when it's super dark out 
and put, like I would go home right now normally well not now because it's raining but normally I'd be out in my yard until like 7 30 8 9 at night working outside now I have to have everything put away and be working outside by four in the afternoon usually because then it starts getting darker so usually by about four or four thirty I'm done in the house or outside and I go in the house but I have done the super cozy thing in my house. I love how cozy my house is. I have lots of candles. I have lots of fluffy blankets. I have hot cocoa, pillows. I have tons of books that I love. I've been listening to audiobooks like crazy. So the couple of months, in October and November, I really didn't upload a lot. I know, I know, I know. Didn't do a ton of uploading. And one of the things I was doing in that time was listening to a whole bunch of audiobooks. Not many podcasts, though. I listen to podcasts stuff occasionally, but I listen to so many audiobooks. It is cuckoo. I think I probably, over those two months, I might have gone through, ooh, I want to say six to eight audiobooks. I don't know. A lot. It was kind of fun. Jeremy and I actually listened to an audiobook when I drove him back to Michigan in October. So that was kind of cool. I was going to try to find something like music or something to listen to. And... I said, you know, it's so weird. I usually catch up on my audiobooks because it's like a 10 hour drive. I usually can finish like a really long, nice long 10 hour audiobook in that time. Or if there's some that I have that are like in pieces, like five hour, five hour, or whatever, I have like leftovers, like ones to finish. I can knock those out and be done with them. And then I drive back from Michigan and I do the same thing. I listen to audiobooks. I do that when I go to Hampton Beach and it, uh, next year, if we're doing it again, that'll be year three Hampton Beach, and I am staying the whole week next year. I'm not kidding. I am, like, going the whole time. <laughs> the only reason I didn't this year was because we went to Paris. And it was the same... Hampton Beach and Paris were the same month, so I had to cut my Hampton Beach trip short. And the Paris trip wasn't that long either. We were only gone, like, four or five days. Hiccups again. I gotta have my Randy coffee. I'm still nursing this because I have a lot to unpack. Oh, here comes another. Uh, there's a fire somewhere. All the, you'll see the lights go by. All the volunteer firefighter guys just are passing me. I was talking about how small my town is. We don't have a fire department. We don't have a police department in my town either. Did I ever mention that? We don't have a police department and we don't have a fire department. The fire department is all volunteer. And if I want anything, that was so weird when I moved here. I'm like, who do I call if I have to call the police? They're like, you just call the Pennsylvania State Police. I'm like, we don't have a police department? They're like, no. Stroud does. Um, Stroudsburg. The, the city of Stroudsburg. But I am in East Stroudsburg. Stroudsburg has their own little police department. Mainly because they have Main Street and all of those shops that we were just on on 611. So there's the Stroud Police Department. But there is zero police department for East Stroudsburg. And the Stroudsburg Police Department does not serve East Stroudsburg. So if anything goes on with me at our house or I ever have to call the police, I just have to call the Pennsylvania State Police. So the only police that I ever state police. I also do not have um, municipal garbage waste pickup. Our trash gets picked up by a place that I pay a fee to every month and you have to there's a few different ones and uh, it was so weird to get used to when I work I, when I moved here I'm like wait I have no police department all volunteer fire department and there's no trash pickup it was such a weird thing when I moved here to get used to that that's not everywhere in this area it's just uh, where I am in East Stroudsburg so like Stroud has all of those things, um, the town, of, the city of Stroudsburg, but East Stroudsburg does not. And it's it just it was weird to get used to. Uh, what else did I say? So I called my hubby. He is he knows I'm on my way back. It is now 4:27. I have been gone all day. I think I left around one, <laughs> uh, 12:30 or one. I think I got to Aldi between 12:30 and one. I'm not sure, but I got all of my shopping done basically for the month of December without I'm going to have to go and get some produce and some things like that but I got all kinds of food prep things I finished my the last of my little Christmas shopping I think is pretty much done I had all my Christmas shopping done like I said like in September 
September, October. I had all, no, by the end of October, I was ordering stuff in July through September. And then when all the, the cool Halloween stuff came out, I have spooky friends. So I got a lot of like spooky Halloween sale stuff. And my hubby is an, an old goth from way back in the day. He's not goth anymore. He's goth on the inside. In fact, I think I got him a t-shirt that says that goth on the inside. He's goth on the inside, but he's like, he's corporate goth now. <laughs> but he can't dress goth at his job at all. So, but he used to be a goth boy back in the day, dyed his hair black long black hair down the middle of his back, saw Skinny Puppy, saw Bauhaus, saw Alien Sex Fiend, saw all the bands I saw. I've talked about it before. Anyway, so it's easy to shop for him because I can buy him stuff during Halloween season. So today when I was at Target, I finished up with just getting him a few things that I want to put in his stocking and I'm done. So, I, and I had to get uh, wrapping paper. So I got a whole bunch of wrapping paper. So we're set on that and uh, that's it. But I just pulled up to my house, so I am going to unpack all this stuff. I need to go see if there's anything in my mailbox first. Hold on a second. Let's check. Okay, nothing in the mailbox. So I'm going to back up, and it has been raining since last night. It is uh, still raining, and I'm just going to back up and try to run all of this stuff inside. Hubby texted me and he's like, or I called him, he texted me and then I called him and he's like, well, this is what I'm doing now and the puppy is sleeping on him. And he's like, well, I can't really uh, come and help you. Otherwise I'm gonna wake this guy up. And I said, that's okay, don't wake him up. It's better to keep him off the stairs and away from the front door so I can unpack. So I'm gonna go and pack, but that's my vlog. I think that's it. I'm gonna call this done because whatever I didn't, if I, did, if I started a story and didn't finish it, let me know in the comments and I'll finish it in a different vlog. I know this is kind of all over the place. This is like a run around on Sunday with me. Uh, I'm free. I'm free. I'm going to call this vlog. I'm free. I've escaped the house. And then YouTube will be like, were you being held prisoner? And I'm like, no. Uh, yes, by a puppy. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm going to go unpack and uh, I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. Merry Vlogmas. Thank you.